Hello and welcome. My name is Chris. My handle is Montevaca, and this is the second in my series of Unity 3D scripting tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to focus on creating a back end for our conversation system that we're eventually going to create. Um, let's. Uh, last time we created a a scene that allows us to walk around in first person and select an object via just by looking at it and then hitting a button to in interact with that. Uh, the way we're gonna change that this time is just instead of having to jump up when we hit the interaction button we're gonna have a pop-up window come up and allow us to click on something and then that will be the uh, the basis of our interaction this time. Uh, the th first thing that we're gonna want to notice is when we do this when we look around we can still see the mouse cursor which is not necessarily the way we want to do this with um, a first person type game we kind of want to hide that so what we're going to want to do is first open the select script and what we're going to do is we're going to add an awake uh, script up here so that uh, when this script is first called it is going to do this function and in this function, what we're going to do is we're going to try, we're going to hide the mouse cursor. So we'll do that by doing screen dot show cursor. And you want to make sure that you capitalize cursor. And we're going to just make that equal to false. Okay. And we save that. And we'll run this again. And if you notice, our mouse cursor has disappeared. Uh, so we'll stop that there. The next thing what we want to do is for a uh, conversation system, when we go up here and press interact with this, we want to uh, make sure that the our character can no longer, it freezes our character in place and he can't look around. We want them to have that conversation. And then when they're done with that conversation, then we can let them walk around again. But you don't want them to walk around while they're trying to talk. It just makes it a little bit too hard to manage. So, but before we go into how to do that, what I, to actually do that, we're going to want to actually take a look at the uh, the standard uh, first-person controller object that comes with Unity. That's what we're use. Uh, I'm using with this. Um, it might be different if you've written a custom one, but uh, let's just take a look at this so that we know what we're doing. Um, the way we're going to want to uh, stop them in place and stop the mouse look from working is we're going to disable the scripts on the first person controller. We'll, once we are allowed to let the person walk around and look around again, we'll re-enable them. But first we'll just disable them so they can't do anything. And uh, that seems simple, but there is a slight little bit of interest with the, uh, the, the first person controller that comes with Unity. Uh, first we take a look, the scripts that we're gonna wanna look at are the mouse look, the character motor, and the FPS input controller. Those are the main ones that we're going to want to disable, but we also have to be careful because if we open up uh, the, uh, the first person controller object down here in the main camera, the main camera also has a mouse look. The way the Unity has it set up is the main camera has an up and down mouse look and then the uh, the first person camera has a left to right mouse look. I, From what I understand this is so that uh, when you're turning left and right it's actually turning the model that's inside the uh, first person look whereas when you're looking up and down you're not technically tilting the model on its axis to look up and down. Uh, makes sense but it, it causes a little bit of confusion when we first try to script this. So what we're going to want to do is open up our interact script and we're going to come down. First thing we're going to do is we are going to add a couple game object variables to the top class. So let's do uh, private because we're not going to be assigning this from outside the game. It's going to be solely inside it. Game object. We'll call this PLY for the overall player uh, moving around. And then we're also want to do a private, private. Oh, do not capitalize that. Sorry, guys. Game object, and we'll call this one cam for our main camera. Okay. And now what we want to do is come down here to the on GUI. 
And before we call the event function, what we're going to want to do is find the objects that we're going to be the objects that we're going to be messing with the scripts on. So first things first, we'll do pl is equal to game object dot find, and then we're going to want to find the quote unquote first person controller. So first person controller okay we close that up so that's going to find our player then we we'll also need to find the main camera within that first person controller so we're going to do game object dot find and this one will just look for main camera doing it this way because it's easy uh, you want to be careful though so you don't have multiple objects with these same names on there that could cause problems later on there's other ways to find them but uh, I'm just doing this because it's really easy so what we're gonna do is come down here and now that we've got those objects found we're gonna change the object from jumping up to doing a little bit of interaction first so uh, what we want to do now is take these scripts on each of these so we're gonna do PL dot get component get component and we're going to look for the mouse look script mouse look script so we close that function up and then we do a dot enabled Now we're going to do that for each of the scripts on this. So let's copy this, put that down here, and we're going to look for the character motor script. Oh, make sure it's spelled right. And finally, on the player one, we're going to look for FPS input. Oh, don't capitalize all that. So input controller. Okay. So all those are set to false. What we also need to do is not forget is there is a mouse look script on the camera. So we take this and just change it to cam dot component dot uh, mouse look that bad. What we also want to do since uh, we're going to lock this place, uh, lock it in place, what we're going to do here is screen dot show cursor. And we're going to have that equal to true here. Okay. So what this will do, and here, let me show you. Close that up. Let me open it. And if it lets me play. So we come up, we hit E to interact. It uh, stops everything, locks us in place, and then shows our mouse cursor. This is pretty good. Um, we're also going to want to take care of that, but we'll worry about that later. This is pretty good, but now we want to have some way of getting out of this. Basically, we'll want a pop up to come up and be able to have the uh, player be able to click on something to choose a different option. Hey guys, sorry, the video I recorded ran a little bit long, so I'm gonna have to chop it up into two parts. So, this will be continued in part two. See you guys then. Thanks.